This is ancient Qumran. This is where the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered, up in those caves and some, and a couple caves down here. There were 972 scrolls and, and uh, manuscripts found. There's the Dead Sea. Uh, the land by the Dead Sea is the lowest land on planet Earth. So um, why is the Dead Sea Scrolls the most important archaeological discovery in human history? The answer is because before the Dead Sea Scrolls, the earliest copies of the Old Testament were from two sources, the Leningrad Codex and the Aleppo Codex that went back to basically 1000 AD. And then when they discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls, there were copies of all the books of the Old Testament except for Esther and Nehemiah. All the books of the Old Testament going back as far as 1100 years before the Aleppo Codex and the Leningrad Codex. So all the way back to the first century BC. So, so they found almost a complete copy of the Old Testament um, 1100 years before the other copies they had. So the question is, did they match up? Because if they match up, then you have copies of the Old Testament that say the exact same thing. And then you can go, wow, I guess we can rely on the information that we have. Uh, uh, we can rely on the text, meaning the text hasn't been changed. What was written down back when these were written is in fact the actual writing. Because if they don't match up, then, then we would say, well, you have this text from a thousand years later and it doesn't agree, it doesn't match up. That means that the Old Testament has been changed over time. It's been copied and copied and copied and changed over time. So, but if they do line up, then you go, wow, separated by a thousand years and yet they line up. That means that what was originally written is what we have. So we can rely on the, on the uh, copying of the manuscripts. So what happened was when they found it and they looked at the text, they found out that the text lined up almost exactly to what they had a thousand years earlier. So... They match.